Hello, I'm Robert Donoghue from the Environmental Learning Research Centre. And in our work with handprint care and our circles of care in classroom settings, we found two um, UNESCO documents particularly relevant. The first is a call for a new social contract for education. And here we asked in our handprint work, how does handprint care contribute to a new social contract in primary education? And then the UNESCO work with teachers and barriers to readiness for ESD covered much of the same ground as the work that we'd um, uh, experienced with teachers. The knowledge of topics, the pedagogy to be used, assessment, competencies and systems, systems thinking in particular, the low coverage of ESD in subjects, sourcing of necessary equipment, and action-taking opportunities in school and community settings. So what we did is we adopted an approach used by uh, Fundisa for Change and the um, Sustainability Starts with Teachers in UNESCO. And that was to highlight three focus areas, the um, knowledge in the curriculum, the pedagogy and the assessment. And what we identified was a series of areas that teachers could investigate to look at in more depth. And all of these areas we linked a question to. Our first question was related to the origins of handprint. How did a handprint approach to ESD emerge? And this was the starting point for some teachers to begin to explore a handprint approach. Then we looked at ethics, the inclusion of ethics-led learning in um, classroom settings. And then into the pedagogy. How can story sharing, which is commonly used in primary schools be introduced around real world story. And then further into pedagogy, how can ESD be activated in conventional subject teaching? How can the knowledge related to environmental concerns and the sustainable development goals enrich subject teaching and be brought in? How can um, curriculum and ESD competences be combined in our teaching and into lesson design. How do we deepen our lesson design to include ESD led, um, uh, sorry, learning led ESD? And then looking at assessment, often where we start, how do we strengthen assessment and broaden assessment in our teaching? And then into the planning process, how do we plan learning activities together? Now, all of these came together as an agenda for teachers to explore the questions that are relevant to them. And the questions can be explored in any order and discussed as teachers. And we found that teachers working together on these open questions to approach ESD as shared challenges towards change in the classroom um, led to the clarification of a new social contract for education in real world emancipatory learning actions being added to the classroom settings that engage school in community concerns and move towards more just and sustainable ways of being and doing things together. And what we found by in our teacher education and teacher support work is that teachers starting with these questions were already on the way to getting over the barriers to the inclusion of ESD in their classroom settings. So here's some references that might be relevant. The first one was looking at teacher motivations from UNESCO, and then the important one as well, which is looking at the new social contract framework. Then um, into handprint care and overview, um, looking at action learning, some work that we did for, uh, for UNESCO on um, changing training and learning environments, and then some research with teachers on the introduction of um, handprint care approaches in South Africa, and then some research with teachers that has been undertaken in Mexico. And all of this work is centered on uh, teachers working together around questions that enable them to deepen and sh subtly shift their um, teaching practices 
um, their work with knowledge and their assessment practices to introduce ESD approaches to action learning in their conventional classroom teaching settings.